Well, you've obviously been able to to rein in the stress, like the pressure, and I totally oh, wait, feel you. I forgot my question about you. Can oh, I what's, ask you? Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> at, like as far as pressure goes, I'm, like skiing is an individual sport. Yeah. Um, when you feel pressure with your teammates, like. I, cause I imagine it's not less pressure and you have a leading role in your team as well. How, how does that, how can, how do you imagine that changes or, you know, do you, like, how do I handle pressure yeah. when you need to just look like you have it all under control yeah. and like everything's you need to know, cool? You need to like boss people around and be like, this is what you're supposed to do, even though I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> but I, that's just me it, that you probably know what you're doing. Uh, no, I think for me, uh, through the years, I've learned how to, how to handle pressure. It's not to say that I don't get nervous and I don't, um, have baby panic attacks and like mental breakdowns inside. Um, <clears throat> But I've, I've been in so many positions where I have not been successful because I allowed my mental game to be out of my control and to, and, and, and thus control me and how I performed. Um, and it just, like you said, it kind of comes with experience. You just learn like mentality is a skill. It's, it's something that you can learn. So, um, even this last world cup, like I was so stressed the whole time because I, because you don't want to mess up. You don't want to lose. You're like on, you're walking like a knife's edge. And at any moment it could be over. Like, you know, like you're, you're literally on a ski's edge going down the mountain. And at any point you could lose control and, you know, one tiny mistake, one wrong, you know, turn, cut, whatever. And dreams are over. So, but it, but it's, it's just figuring out how to kind of, like I said, walk that tightrope of not allowing the pressure to overwhelm you, but kind of propel you. And it, it seems like that's how you have approached things as well. Did you feel like, did you still feel love for the sport during the world cup? Like during those times, you know what I mean? I felt love during, I felt love during the games. That's when I, I like, like whenever last world cup, I was like, man, I need to remember that like, this isn't very fun, but I enjoyed it from the moment I got onto the bus to go to the game, walk into the locker room, out on the field. That's, you're like, oh, I live for these moments. Like, like, like you do, like racing down the hill. But the moments in between, I obviously enjoyed myself because I like to have a good time. But, um, and it's like about the journey. It's not necessarily about just the end product. Um, but I, I did, I do love that. But it, it's not to say that it's like, you know, yeah. rainbows and butterflies on the yeah. field. You're stressing the whole time. But this is me interviewing you. And I know you, could, you said Sorry. you could ask me questions. <laughs> <laughs>